Want to create a startup? It's easier than ever to build anything these days. Tools like Bolt and Lovable can get you from idea to apps in seconds. But knowing what to build, the idea itself can be challenging. Hmm. Even Sam Altman posted about this recently. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna show you all the places that you can get startup ideas. There's plenty of free and paid lists out there already because that's not what you need. What you really need is to know how to get startup ideas that investors actually want to fund. So in this video, we'll show you how we build an NAN automation that sources pain points from Reddit and proposes solutions using the hottest technologies that investors love in the startup categories that Y Combinator is looking to fund. Ready to generate some startup ideas? Sure. Let's get into this workflow. This is AI agent A to Z. Let's start configuring the workflow. First, download the workflow from the description below. Then create a new workflow and import the previously downloaded file. Let's start configuring the Google Sheets nodes. Open up both of the nodes and select your Sheets account. Next, let's set up the Reddit node. Click on the node and create a new credential. Copy the redirect URL and create a new Reddit app. Paste in your redirect URL, name the app, select web app, and click on create. Copy both the client ID and the client secret to an ATEN. Click on connect my account, and you are done. Feel free to edit the number of posts you want to process. You might also change the subreddit and the category to pull the posts from. Lastly, you need to pick the right LLM for you. Make sure you select one that is fairly intelligent. Once you connected all the four nodes to the chat model, make sure you deactivate the rest of them. Let me walk you through how this workflow works. We start by creating a new spreadsheet. Next, we set up some extra context for the LLM. We add the summary of the latest request for startups from Y Combinator. We also add some extra context around the technical definitions from the latest AI technologies. Then we get some posts from Reddit and we enter a loop. In the loop, we start tasking the LLM to find pain points for us in the Reddit posts. We are using a prompting technique to make the results better. We let the LLM to think before it answers to us, and it's going to respond in clear text. In the next step, we extract the information from the clear text. If we were able to extract pain points from the post, we move to the next step. Otherwise, we continue to the next item. It is now time to create startup ideas. In this step, we augment the LLM with the definitions of the latest AI technologies. We also use another prompting technique, namely structured reasoning, where we first ask the LLM to reason in a JSON format. And only after that, we request for the data that we really want. This way, we can increase the LLM's creativity and correctness. In the next step, we want to classify which request for startup category this idea falls into. If none, we continue to the next item, but if so, we are saving it into Google Sheets. Once we loop over all the items, we set up the Google Sheets URL and we are done. Let's test the workflow. So we're in our Google Sheet. In the first column, we've got our request for startup categories. These are from Y Combinator. We've got good variety here. We also have a good mix of different industries that were set by the LLM. Now, looking at the startup idea column, just from scanning, I can definitely tell it's using a lot of those buzzwords that investors get excited over. So things like multimodal dashboard, rag powered insights, agentic project manager. These are all really good. But remember, don't forget to validate your startup idea by talking to potential customers. If you've never done this before or want a refresher, the mom test is a great read. If you're a member of our school community, feel free to request a premium workflow for startup idea validation. If you like workflows like this, join our no code AI community on school, where you'll have access to a variety of NAN templates, our premium server, workshops, and of course, support. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.